your UFC debut. And then actually, I think you were, it was still Peretti. They got you on the very next UFC, which was the fight Braga. And yes. that one didn't go your way either. And I, I want you to talk a little bit about it because somewhere along the line here, you go from kind of question yourself a little bit to like really like strong of mind, like to the point where you, you become like a coach too for some of the other guys and younger guys. How, yeah, how, so talk about that, that. That's where I've always, I, I really think that, that kind of a trial by fire thing is, is very beneficial for a lot of people. So, uh, you know, I fought Shamrock in like my seventh fight. I fought Braga in like my eighth or ninth fight. That's um, nuts. Yeah. And so I fought Braga and, you know, he, he, Fighting down in Brazil, man, it's a different world. Chris, you've been down there, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a different world fighting down there, man. Like, the fights up in the U.S. at that time, you know, they were raw and underground and blah, 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 but not really. Yeah. It was, it was some guys that are play fighting MMA. Down in Brazil, those guys were fucking killing each other. Yeah. It's a different world down there. So I go down there, and I fight Braga, and I'm like, okay, this is what a fighter really is. This is, you know, he hit me. You know, I mean, it was a good fighter, and he hit me with some good shots, but, like, his mentality and his strength and his drive and his confidence that it, it, it was a noticeable difference from the other people I had fought. So obviously he beat me. Uh, and I was like, you know what? I need to fight as much as I can. I want to fight in every single fight I can. Uh, I, I need more experience. And so that was right around the time that I moved to Iowa.